In this quick video, I would like to showcase uh, one of the requirements we do get quite often, that customers would like to have different API portals uh, with another look and feel, with another navigation running on one API portal or one Joomla instance. So that means in this video, I will show how I can adjust that style based on the website which is called. And I would like to have a set of uh, different APIs and I would like to have a set of different menu. And to do that, I go into the Joomla administration interface. And the first thing I'm doing is to create a new menu as I want to have a different navigation. By default, the API portal comes with one API portal or with one main menu which is deriving what you what you know, like the monitoring, like applications, APIs, so on and so forth. And um, what quite a little bit hidden is that option to create additional menus. I can say here now, and let's say there's a second uh, menu, and the menu type at this point, to my opinion, or to my knowledge, doesn't matter. And I can now save that thing. And now I have a different menu uh, as, as, the, as the main one, which actually doesn't have any menu item types assigned. And of course, now I can create, let's say, the structure I want for that second menu navigation. And of course, I would like to have a home page. I could use normal content management system features, but uh, to make it simple for this demonstration, I just use the default home page we are delivering with the product and I can say this is the home page. I don't call it second because it should look nice also on the front end, but the alias should be home two, which is used to access or to call that page. And um, that's all for that thing here. Now I have the first one. Of course, also the second side should give me a set of APIs. And I say there is an API catalog list as well. But this one here should be limited by a set of APIs. And normally I would say every API, which should only come on the second page, should maybe contain uh, a tag second page or something like that, which is quite handy as you even can combine and say, maybe you have an API which should appear on the second page and on the third page. And you can say something like that if you want and these kind of APIs will appear. I know I have a set of APIs which are tagged with FHER, and I would like to limit that API catalog to FHER, and maybe I would like to have a tile view for that to make it a little bit different. Save and close that. Um, there's one more thing I forgot. Um, also for this page, I would like to have only registered users to have access to it. So save and close. And um, to add another one, I say there should also be a capability to manage my applications. I go into the application list page and here I can say I have applications and um, also this one should be for registered users only. So save and close. And now I can go already and have a look for my second um, API portal menu. Um, you see, it's not working. The page is responding, but it's showing the home page, but it still shows um, the default API menu entry. And obviously, we haven't done anything which will control the look and feel. So, for that, I'm going into the extensions and there's the section templates. And here I open that styles. Um, at the moment, or by default, the API portal has only one style, which is really used, forget about the other one, and which is based on the template engine or on the template Purity 3. A style is ultimately what's really assigned to pages and used by pages. And you can have multiple styles on one template, something like a view to, to show a template in a different way, say it like that. And to create a new style, you have multiple ways. I'm going into that existing style and say there is another one, which is my second style. And this one should become a copy of the existing one. And now, of course, I have a new style. 
And I can later on, I will take that style and assign it to pages. Before doing that, I would like to um, have a different look and feel. And I'm just using theme magic to kick it off, to make it very simple. I just say that the brand color should be um, blue to, to have a clear, let's say, difference between the first page and the second page. And then I can say save as, and uh, the name should be second style, uh, second theme, because now it is a theme. It's saved, actually. And this contains a set of, um, let's say, style sheets, which overrides the default one. So and now I can go in my second style and say the theme should not be X-ray anymore, which is the one you know. It should be second theme. And additionally, I would like to have that the navigation should not be the main menu anymore. Whenever a page is using that style, it should use the second menu. And then I need to assign that style. There are multiple ways to assign a style to pages, but here it's very convenient. I can say this one should go to the following pages. And now I can save that thing and reload the page in the front end. And now you see that the menu has been replaced um, because of configuration, this one is showing the homepage as text, but it's a matter of config. I have an API menu entry, applications, and of course, you could add more as you want. And you see, of course, the API catalog page is showing that APIs I have tagged with only. Um, you can also change the text over here if you would like to have another text. The applications doesn't matter so much if they are, uh, let's say, page one or page two, because that are my applications. And when I'm coming to that API portal I'm, and I'm using the second domain most of the time, then I only see that applications anyway. So the last thing is that at the moment I have by intention said that I would like to step into, the, into that API portal with that home page too, but this is nothing users normally know. They're just called the API portal, and with that one, they go to this, and um, there is no way to get them to, into the second area. But I would like to force people to go on, on that homepage too when, um, when they are using a specific domain. And for that, you can use htaccess um, access. I have already configured that one on my API portal configuration on my web server, Apache web server, basically. And the magic is a rewrite, a rule, a rewrite condition, which is over here in the middle of that custom redirects. I have placed that whenever there is a request to my web server, which is coming with the HTTP host um, www conditional API portal 2.com on that port, um, then it should go to that home page too. And it, that should be a permanent thing so that um, the browser and um, crawler engines remember that. So that means when I now call that thing with APR portal two, it should be redirected to our home page. Let's give it a try. And um, let's do that with a private window because the browser, the browser is remembering that. Um, APR portal two, eight, four, four, three. And now I'm redirected to the second page. And when calling that with the normal page, with the normal domain, API and 8443, it's, it's the normal one, which is, which is known. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful.